Hafidei Todu Sanzu. Thank you for being here today. The Committee on Heritage and the Arts, Parks, Guam Products, Hagatnya Restoration, that should be revitalization, self-determination and regional affairs to which I chair will now reconvene the Hagatnya Restoration, the, yes, Hagatnya Restoration and Redevelopment Authority Oversight Hearing that was recessed on Tuesday, January 21st at 7.24 p.m. For the record, in accordance with the open government law, a notice was issued yesterday, January 22nd, 2020, to all senators, stakeholders, and all main media broadcasting outlets of today's continuation of HRA's oversight hearing. Today is Thursday, January 23rd, 2020, and the time is now uh, 5.26. I want to thank everyone present for the Hagatnya Restoration and Redevelopment Authority Oversight Hearing. The Committee on Heritage and the Arts, Parks, Guam Products, Hagatnya Revitalization, Self-Determination, and Regional Affairs reconvenes the oversight hearing of the Hagatnya Restoration and Redevelopment Authority to ensure that the authority is fulfilling its mandate review the work of the authority, and evaluate the authority's operation and performance. I want to thank the senators that are here with me that are part of the committee. I have uh, the Speaker Munya Barnes to my right. She is my overall vice chair. And I have uh, Senator Joe Senegastine to my left, who is the um, chair of the uh, OFB, the Office of uh, Finance and Budget, correct. We will continue on the oversight hearing of the Higatnya Restoration and Redevelopment Authority, otherwise known as the HRA. The HRA has an immense responsibility that will influence the future landscape and co complexion of Higatnya and Guam. The impaneled Board of Commissioners are anxious to move the work of the authority forward in a direction for the future that is correct and good for Hagatnya, its property owners and residents, and especially for the people of Guam. So um, in continuation, we have uh, the same uh, board members and others that are here. We do have one new member here, so uh, in a bit, we will have the Sergeant of Arms uh, swear in the new member. I hope everyone present today has had an opportunity to sign in. The conduct of this oversight hearing shall be as follows. As the chair of the committee, I will preside, moderate, and facilitate discussion at this oversight hearing. Discussions brought forward by the committee shall be confined to the substance. When you speak, please make sure that the microphone is on and that you speak into the microphone and to turn it off once you are finished speaking. All those before the committee are here in their official capacities. So uh, as I mentioned uh, before your after you're called upon and um, as you're answering, after you turn the microphone on, if you can please uh, let us know your name so that we have it for the record. For today's oversight hearing, any new participant will be sworn in by the legislature's uh, sergeant of arms. So if I could have you uh, do that, please. Spell that for me. Sijus uh -huh. Masi. So what we will do is um, the committee will reconvene this hearing, excuse me, and continue where we left off from last Tuesday's Hagatnya Restoration and Redevelopment Authority Oversight Hearing. What we have is a bit of a summation so that we were here for two and a half hours the other day, um, and this way we're having a bit of summation. We're um, moving forward with 
these events that we started covering on Tuesday. The continuation of this oversight hearing will focus on the committees and the board's collaboration on working together and going forward. So the first question that I have, and um, we have the HRA board chair here, so thank you for being here, Madam Chair. Um, when does the board estimate the completion of its internal desk audit? An estimate is fine. If you could answer that, please, Commissioner Kaswani. Uh, having, having, having received uh, some of the... If you could start with your name, please. Yeah, Thank my you. name is Nick Kaswani. I'm the commissioner on the HRRA Board of Commissioners. Uh, the audit is ongoing. Uh, having received some of the fine, what I think might be the final documents today, I anticipate that within a couple of weeks uh, I should be able to uh, complete my review and analysis necessary. I will submit that analysis along with findings and recommendations to our board. I'm hoping to try to do that at the next board meeting or before the next board meeting. And then once the board accepts those recommendations and uh, comments, then we will transmit it to you through our chair. Suzus Masi for the information. And again, I really want to thank the board for their proactivity. Um, we have definitely noted at a, as a committee that the board has really rolled up its sleeves. It's, um, it's not only conducted this internal desk audit or has started it, but it, it has also uh, began the review. Uh, I believe you've completed the review of the design guidelines. Uh, you're working through, if you have not even already uh, perhaps finished the review of the master plan itself. So, I mean, this is really quite a lot of work and, and we're very, very appreciative. So uh, to Madam Chair, in response to the committee's FOIA request sent to the HRA director on November 26, 2019, an undated and unsigned memo to the executive director provided a short briefing of events and work that had taken place over a period of time. Um, so we'd like to ask uh, you speaking on beho behalf of the board, will the committee be provided the dated and signed version of the memo if it exists? Yes. So do us Masi and uh, We'd like to ask if it would be provided by January 31st, 2020, uh, so that gives us a bit of time. Yes. So just Masi. Will the committee, uh, to the Madam Chair, will the committee be provided accessible records, either in PDF or hard copy, in response to its FOIA request sent to the HRA director on December 5th, 2019. And so I believe that those are being passed out. With that FOIA request, it, it had talked about uh, communications, looking for communications involving the review process that the, the board or the HRA is undergoing. Um, So, Madam Chair? Yes. So, do us Masi. And will it be provided by January 31st, 2020? Yes. So, do us Masi. Will the committee be provided accessible records either in PDF, oh, excuse me. Um, will the committee be provided the updated or final versions of documents requested in its FOIA request sent to the executive director dated January 7th, 2020. Uh, and so that should also be, have been passed uh, out as well. Yes. Malik, very good. And will they be able to be provided by January 31st, 2020 as well? Yes, they will. 
Will the committee be provided the updated or final version of the documents requested in its subpoena, Duces Tecum? I should have asked somebody to, how to pronounce that. Duces Tecum. Deuces tecum. Uh, served to HRA on January 16, 2020. So again, uh, there should be some handouts so that it's clear what's expected on that subpoena. Yes. Um, just a note on that one, there was one, I, the first item on the SOPs in the employee handbook, I did respond to you about, about that. So just Masi for uh, bringing that up. We are in receipt of a letter and we thank you for it very much. That with that letter, um, you had explained that the board will be working on the SOPs, the standard operating procedures and, and possibly a handbook, if I remember correctly, for the um, HRA. So we appreciate your letter. We appreciate that cooperation. And um, it's, it's something good to get into place. Um, we understand that very recently there was that separation and so now there's that independence for the entity. Um, so with the, the subpoena documents, I believe you had a statement that you wanted to share with us in regards to the, the matrix documents or, or the documents that are fulfilling that contract? Yes, um, just I wanted to uh, just address this committee, Madam Chair, Speaker Tina Munoz Barnes and Senator San Agustin. Um, thank you for the opportunity. And I just wanted to um, assure you that that on behalf of the HRA board, the management and staff, that we are committed to transparency um, moving forward. We are committed to uh, working with this oversight committee to achieve the mission of the HRA. So in that regard, um, we, we do have the vendor here, Matrix, with us today. And the board would like to offer any documents uh, and deliverables that you would like to see that have come out of this contract um, that we are uh, ha will, happy and willing to direct Matrix to provide those. We just ask that they be provided mm -hmm. to the HRA uh, since we are the client um, and then we in turn will provide copies to the, to the oversight committee. And also we ask for um, the understanding that many of these documents have not been yeah thoroughly reviewed by the current board. Um, and so please bear that in mind um, that we are, we are doing this as show of goodwill and transparency, but we ourselves need some time to, to go through them. Um, and also, of course, with the new administration and the new leadership at all the agencies, um, they would still be subject to feedback um, in many cases. And so that's to be expected and that the board would not be criticized, if you will, for <laughs> these documents not being in their final form from the government of Guam's point of view. Sidhu so Smasi, uh, again, and we thank all of the board members for the cooperation. We thank Matrix for being here today, and we thank Matrix uh, for working with the board to be able to make that happen um, so that we can see those deliverables uh, and so forth. So, um, that's very reassuring to hear. Uh, we're very, very appreciative of all of that. And we certainly understand the qualification there. Right. That, and again, it points back to the, the hard work that the board is doing. Uh, we really appreciate that the board is going through these and that they're taking this very seriously. They wanna make sure that uh, they understand things. Uh, they wanna make sure that if there are any new um, directions, as time has gone on or in hearing additional feedback from any of the agencies that uh, there's some opportunity to, to work with those. So, And I wanted to just also acknowledge um, the work that Matrix has done and all the feedback that they have um, collected and incorporated. Just understanding that there are new players now, much time has passed and so of course um, we need to take uh, those viewpoints into consideration as well. Thank you. I will now, um, uh, the uh, speaker, 
had, I believe, a question or a comment uh, that she wanted to provide. Uh, Madam Chair, and to Madam Chairperson, thank you so very much for your, um, your um, commitment in, in making sure that the uh, Board of uh, Directors for the HRRA will, will work closely with the Oversight Chair and the Committee in order so that we can see what we think uh, should be facilitated forward. And in the spirit of, of that uh, uh, commitment, I, I know, uh, I, and I see Matrix here, you were sworn in, and I wanna say thank you. I, I understand that uh, you heard uh, some of the inquiries uh, from, the, um, from the previous public hearing and uh, with the authorization that the chairperson has provided uh, uh, and consented to, I'm hoping that uh, maybe uh, Madam Chair, uh, uh, Madam Good Senator Chair, uh, that we just allow uh, Matrix a couple of minutes, uh, you know, a few moments to at least just introduce the work that they've done. And in the spirit of uh, cooperation and the hard work that Matrix has done in the past based on the information that was provided to us uh, on Tuesday, that uh, maybe what you could do is, is in that spirit of turning maybe any of the missing documents and those documents that we had FOIA'd, if you can do the official transfer and then maybe ask Madam Chair for uh, an immediate recess uh, and, and give them some time that we can work on it. And uh, I, I, would, I would also even offer that maybe we even uh, just take a recess and not adjourn so that we can have everybody working with us together and that we can move forward uh, in, in facilitating whatever work uh, was done. So um, I'm hoping that if um, any of the documentation that was not provided to this committee in the last year that we've requested that, that the, 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 the vendor who's, who's here and who we found out on Tuesday that was here on Guam, I understand you have an office here, is that correct, uh, Celeste? Um, Madam Speaker and Vice Chair, yes, that is correct. And, and, and I do apologize. State your name for the record. My name is Celeste Bocheri Warner. And you are? The what? Executive Vice President of Matrix Design Group. Thank you very much. So, uh, Madam Chair, um, I know that, that as one who's been uh, very excited working with the uh, oversight chair on OFB, and you know, I, I always say you have to be close to the man with the purse, you know, the one that holds all the, the, the money that has to be appropriated, you know, him chairing that. Uh, this this um, uh, authority, the redevelopment authority, is, is a very, very powerful authority, and I'm grateful that all the members here who volunteered their time continue to be here, and in the spirit of cooperation, that when the documents get submitted, that we have that opportunity to work closely together and I, I cannot say thank you enough. I cannot say thank you enough for inviting Matrix. We, we called them also and they said they would be here. And uh, Madam Chair, if I can just have them, give them a couple of minutes to say something and maybe turn over whatever documents they have or, and, and, and let's just get it, receive it, ask uh, uh, for the, the, the chairperson the opportunity to meet with their board and then work with us and then we can we can come back. Thank you, Madam Chair. Situ is Masi, Madam Speaker. And uh, so if, if you'd like to maybe uh, take a couple of minutes and uh, present the documents to the board chair and then she will be in receipt of them. And as she outlined, um, the, the board will work with the documents and then provide copies to the oversight committee. Well, honorable chair and committee members, thank you. Uh, I'd like to say a few opening remarks and um, uh, Madam Chair, I'd be happy to share all of the uh, materials that we have shared throughout the process, but would be happy to work with HRRA to just since we have a whole new board and um, director to go through each and every one of them and ha explain and show them how it aligns with each of the tasks within the scope of work of our contract. We are extremely confident that we have delivered every single deliverable required within our contract and um, 
we feel as though you're going to be confident as well. But uh, we're very honored to have the opportunity to be here. We're very excited that we've had, uh, that we are, at least that I am on island. We do have an office here. We do have local staff. And, uh, you know, it's been a long time. We, this is, we've been working on the HRA master plan for four years. Um, it was a four-year period. And we've had a great, uh, great time assisting the territory, the residents, and all of the elected and appointed officials. I'd like to say that in 2015, we were asked by HRRA to facilitate the development of the master plan and the associated components. The master plan is a reflection and a compilation of the inputs, the recommendations, and the ideas of the people of Guam who are participated, who have participated in the process over the four years that I just talked about. These include various departments of agencies of the territory of Guam, members of the executive, the judicial, and the legislative branches of governments, interested people and residents of Guam, business community, the Department of Tomorrow Affairs, HRRA Board of Directors, and the residents of Agatya. The plan reflects the general and the majority views of all of the participants who were involved in the development of the plan and in achieving the four goals of the overall master plan, which are, number one, reestablish Agatna as the capital city of Guam. Number two, to preserve, enhance, and educate about culture, cultural and historic resources and the heritage. Number three, to create an economic focus and, and an engine in Hagatnya. And number four, to bring the people back to Hagatnya to live. The key here is the master plan is a blueprint. It's not our plan, it is your plan. And everybody who was involved really developed the plan. And there are a lot of different components to, to, the, to the plan. It's a, dy a dynamic plan. It should always be dynamic. You should always be able to be updated. So this is a great, um, Madam Chair and the committee members, this is a great opportunity that you always are looking at this and updating it. Things change in the world. The world economics change. Emerging threats to all of us change. Different environmental um, issues, you know, arise, right? And even federal regulations, they, they, um, they have an impact on us, and they will have an impact on what's here in the master plan and the design guidelines and the, the enabling um, law and the zoning ordinance, all the other different components here. So we encourage that you go forward and you look at it and you continue to keep it fresh. So bottom line is we are very happy to be here this today we, and to have the opportunity, if you do have any questions, um, we'll be happy to answer any of those questions today and into the future and to work very closely with the HRRA board and the director as well. So thank you for the opportunity to speak today. So thank you. Thank you so very much, Celeste. And maybe at this time, uh, I don't know if, the, if there's any digital copies or hard copies that you have. Maybe you can transfer it to the, the board chair right now. And I'm hoping that the good chairperson can work with the request of the chairwoman and, and we can come back uh, after we've all taken the time to, uh, to look at, the, at the, all, all the documentation as requested by the committee, by our committee. <laughs> so, um, uh, Madam Speaker, Vice Chair, yes, we do have the electronic files literally um, by folder, by task, um, with all of the deliverables in here. So we're really happy to hand over those um, electronic files. And like I said, yes, we'll if be they here. could go to the chair, please. Thank you. Yeah. And, and we are we are very hopeful that um, that uh, digital uh, component will have all the the requested information, and that we will continue to work with the expertise. And Madam Chair, I forgot to acknowledge all the board members that are here. I think you acknowledged them earlier from Mr. Koswani, Ms. Patiata, and Tirita Franquez, and uh, Dr. Carlos Madrid, did I say that right? I just wanna say that you guys all literally do it for a labor of love, 
so that we can see our capital city of Hagania revitalized. So you're right, so that our people can come back and live here. So we can pr provide uh, uh, houses, affordable housing to our community so we can l truly see the essence of where our island, uh, I mean our village of Hagania was many, many decades ago when our parents and grandparents lived here because I think there it was only Hagania. And, and I'm very happy and I just want to thank this board for their continued hard work on, on bringing us together so that we can, can truly build Hagatnya to where it should be, the island paradise, and leading our island together. So, um, uh, Madam Chair, I yield back to you. Sidious Masi, Madam Speaker. Um, and I believe uh, uh, with uh, Senator Joe Senexine, okay. We're, we're good. Um, and I, I just want to mention to um, the Ms. Uh, Celeste, uh, if you haven't met the new board member of uh, TAN, Rita Franquez, you're going to love meeting each other. She has uh, told us this very charming story of her growing up here, and uh, she knows Hagatnya and has those memories of Hagatnya much, much longer than the rest of us, and they're very charming. The committee will now recess today's oversight hearing and review the information that is or will be provided. We will reconvene this oversight upon this oversight hearing uh, upon the committee having sufficient enough time to review and verify any documents provided and presented. Again, we uh, thank the, the board for for uh, passing those forward to us uh, in a timely manner. Sidhu Asi to everyone for your attendance and participation in today's Hagatnya Restoration and Redevelopment Authority Oversight Hearing. Today's public hearing is now recessed until further notice. It is now uh, 5.53. Sidhu Masi.